Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits where we make it easy for you to be creative. For this month's project we're taking inspiration from the wilderness. We're bringing a little of nature's artistry to this project, taking inspiration from your favourite leaves to create these three candle holders. Inside your kit you'll find your casting plaster, disposable cups, tea light holders and tea lights, a mixing stick and PVA glue. We'll cast one at a time, so just clean your bowl and mixing stick after each one. And just a little safety first, the casting plaster is not for casting any part of your body. The plaster can get very warm and will solidify. Pick out your leaves and place each one along the side of the cup to work out the height. The plaster will come about 6cm up the cup, so place your leaves with this in mind. Cut the leaves straight across at the bottom. Dab a small amount of PVA glue onto a piece of kitchen roll and glue the smooth side of the leaf. This will mean that the side with more veins faces into the cup. Place your first leaf into the cup so it covers a join in the cup. Then add in your remaining leaves around the inside. Repeat for all three cups. Place 100ml of water into your mixing bowl. Then add 200 grams of the casting plaster on top of the water. Add it in slowly and carefully to minimise dust. Mix them together with the wooden stick until the mix has a smooth consistency. This will give you enough mix to do one candle holder at a time. Pour a little into the base of the cup and tap it on your table to settle it. Check the leaves are okay and haven't fallen into the cup or they'll be difficult to remove. Continue to pour the mix in. Once you've poured in all the mixture, tap your cup on the table to remove air bubbles. Place a metal tea light holder onto the top, position it centrally and push it down. Add a tea light or small pebble to keep it weighed down. Leave it for a total of 25 minutes, checking after 10 to 15 minutes that the holder hasn't risen up. While you're waiting, you can start mixing for your next candle holder if you're ready to. The casting plaster will warm up while it's setting. After 25 minutes, check it feels firm before removing the cup. Use a pair of scissors to cut into the cup at an angle at the top and then peel the cup away carefully. Then carefully peel away the leaves. If they've tucked in under a little plaster, pull gently but firmly to remove them. If they're really stuck, carefully use the edge of your scissors to break away the casting plaster on top. Where the top of the plaster met the cup, there may be a little ridge. Use a wooden stick to round down the edges at the top of your candle holder. Occasionally you might see a little rusting in the plaster where the water has reacted to your tea light holder. If this happens, remove the russet coloured plaster with the edge of your wooden stick. Leave your three holders to dry for five days until they're a soft white colour. And well done, your candle holders are complete. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, subscribe to our channel or hop on over to our website at craftiosity.co.uk and sign up to our newsletter. We'll keep in touch with creative inspiration, interviews with makers and designers and to let you know about upcoming craft kits.